So Ernesto, in, in, in all our conversations about cigars that you and I have ever had, you know, one of the things when I'm out on the road, I get asked the most is what's the right way to light a cigar? And the funny thing is before you answer, because I'm curious as to your opinion, everybody has their own way to do it. Everybody has their own opinion. Every manufacturer, every blender, every maker, every, you know, everybody has a different way. You know, but you've been doing this for uh, 50 plus years now. And, you know, I'm curious, what do you think is the right way to smoke a cigar, to light a cigar, excuse me? Well, I like to, uh, you know, the way that I like to light a cigar is the following. Mm -hmm. I like to use more of a uh, soft flame. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I do, basically, I won't burn the whole, you know, foot of the cigar. I'll burn only, like, they say the bottom half. Okay. You see the, uh, the, smoke? the smoke? Yeah. The aroma. That kind of, you know, sets the, 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 sets me up for what I'm going to smoke. Right. Now, it's, right. it's, a, it's a nice aroma right there. I'm sold. This is going to be a great smell. Mm -hmm. If it has, like, you know, a, a smell that I'm not, you know, happy with, it doesn't mean that the cigar is going to be bad, but, you know, it sets kind of the wrong message. Right. Right. Um, so what I like to do is, you know, a soft flame. Now, if it's a niche or maybe a Maduro, I may use a, a torch. Right. Because, you know, we need that extra because of the vintage. So this is the first thing I do, you know. I smell it. I love, I love the, you know, the aroma. You know, I like to uh, savor that, that, uh, that aroma. Mm -hmm. Watch how it you know, keeps you know, burning. <laughs> I like that nuttiness that this cigar has. Yeah. It's, uh... And then when I'm ready to light it, then of course, then you know, after I've done that for depends. You know, right. Sometimes I'll do it for you know, a few weeks. Most other times I'll do it for longer. And then I light the whole cigar. Now, there's there's a uh, there's a saying I never saw this because I never met Winston Churchill, but uh, they said that when uh, he smoked the cigar before he smoked it, right? I mean, did you write it in one second? Yeah. This is kind of... And we'll get into the different lighters in a little bit here. He would do this. He would basically get the yeah. cigar. Right. And blow through the, uh, right. A reverse the goss, as they would like to call it. Yeah. yeah. Now, the reason he did this, like I said, I never met the man. Uh, I'm sure he had his reasons. He yeah. was a very really smart person. So. Why do you think he did it? I think he did that to, I don't know, kind of <clears> clear <throat> up. You know, the, the, you know, just get a, 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 a clean smoke, I guess you could say. Okay. Okay. But, but again, you know. Yeah. But it was interesting. I saw that. And, uh, it was interesting. Yeah, I heard that he used to do that too. And it's, mm -hmm. it's. Uh, I guess you got to learn how to do it over time because mm -hmm. I have had ash and it doesn't taste very good. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've had ash many times. Yeah. <laughs> when you're not paying attention, there's been times where I've put the wrong end of the cigar in my mouth. <laughs> um. So, so in the process, if you need a little more fire, sir, in the process of lighting, you know, you want to get you know, the whole, the whole cigar lit well. And, right. mm -hmm. and one of the things, you know, that my experience has shown over time is the bigger the cigar, the more you gotta light it. You know, and what I mean by that is, is that, you know, you have to get an ember going across the entire cigar. If you're not well lit, the cigar won't burn properly. And I know that, you know, we, we've spent time on the road teaching people how to light our 70s cigar because right. it's such a big cigar and there's a lot of tobacco in it and you really have to get that thing lit up. You know, so you like a soft flame, but tell me, what, what are those sitting next to you? T well, talk about those while I uh, actually light this, my cigar. This is, uh, you know, how they used to, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, in, you know, in the old days, mm -hmm. you know, when uh, cedar was, you know, readily available, mm -hmm. 
you know, look through some some uh, boxes that have like the cedar mm -hmm. right on top of it. Mm -hmm. And needless to say, that was to actually give the cigar you know, flavor. You know, Correct. Yeah, absorb some of the humidity. Correct. One thing about cedar that people uh, don't realize is that cedar, <clears throat> they don't get any type of, you know, cigar beetles don't like cedar. Correct. Uh, you know, other animals, whatever, don't yeah. like cedar. So that was one of the reasons why they had the cedar. You know, people would bring the cedar and they would like their cigar with that. Right. And, you know, the thing that I like about this, it's lining with the cedar, is not only, you know, this one in particular burns a little bit too fast, mm -hmm. but it also, you know, adds some of that cedar into the cigar. Yeah. Very little. It imparts a little flavor to it. It imparts a little flavor that's yeah. a little bit different than what you're going to be smoking. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's one of the things that's interesting you mentioned that. So, you know, here, these are cedar matches. Is it, whoop, hopefully I don't drop them over. These are cedar matches, as everybody can see. And this used to be the traditional way, you know, or or a old school lighter that had a soft flame, more along the lines of something like this, you know, where, you know, that was the way when I started many years ago, you were longer doing this, that that's how we lit our cigars, you know? I mean, I even remember watching, you know, going into the tobacconist and they had that uh, thing on the counter that you'd pull on and it had the little, you know, cloth in there and it would light it up and it had the oil and everything, you know? And, and today, you know, we look at that and go, oof, you don't ever want to put that in a cigar because as you said, this cedar imparted the flavor, that oil imparted the flavor. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that's important for consumers to know is you really want to use either a wood match, a cedar wood match ideally, or a cedar item like you're using, or you want to use butane, you know, because it's clean and it doesn't clean. change the cigar. Exactly. Yeah, so, you know, now you like, again, you like a soft flame, you like that. What's your thought now about today, you know, and, and everybody has their opinion, but I'm curious as to yours, when you start talking about a single torch like this one, you know, where it has one flame all the way up to <laughs> this monster with yeah. four flames, you know, what are your thoughts about the jets and the, the torches, as we call them, or the well, jet lighters, as we call yeah, them? Yeah, I think the, uh, you know, like I said, for big green gay cigars, I think those are, you know, the, the four torches. Mm -hmm. uh, for Maduro cigars, are great. Yeah. Uh, if you're out in the wind, you know, I mean, Absolutely. They, have, they, have their, they, have their, they have their purpose. <clears throat> yeah. But, you know, for me, one thing I like about the, the cedar also is the fact that, you know, when, when you're smoking a cigar, you, you get some of that cedar aromas also, which is very, you know, pleasing. Yeah. When you're smoking a cigar, you like the cedar. And of course, you get some of those cedar notes in the cigar. Absolutely. For a bit, you know? Yeah. Um, but for me, it's, it's, it's always been, you know, the soft flame. That's my favorite. Yeah. Know? Well, me, I personally, yeah, I personally carry a soft flame with me almost everywhere I go. You know, it might take longer to do a bigger cigar with a soft flame, but you can get it done. It can be accomplished. Right. You, you got me this I think I did help you get that. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, um, another thing that, that I see a lot of people do, and there's really no, I want everybody to understand, there's no right or wrong to this. It's your personal preference. But, you know, earlier... Um, in another episode, we talked about small cigars, you know, so you started the cigar lighting it here and toasting it, all right, and then getting the aroma, which I think is a great thing. I think when you add the cedar to that, the aroma of the cedar mixes in with the smoke and everything, and you get a, a real nice aroma, then you finish lighting the cigar. And a lot of times you finish lighting it, then you bring it to your mouth and you complete the light, you complete the ember, as I call it. You know, is there any reason why you would never just put it in your mouth and light it? Well, you know, a cigar, I mean, to me, a cigar is something that you do, you know, to enjoy, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I, mean, I may do it, you know, if I'm not concentrating. Right. Um, Speed. You, yeah. You yeah. know, I'm, I'm walking around the floor and, and I pick up a cigar from you know, the, the bench and I, you know, light it. Of course, I'm not going to go, you know, I want to see what that cigar could draw. Right. You know, where that cigar is going to be 30 days from that moment. Huh. But um, uh, like again, when I'm when I'm going to enjoy a cigar, I want to be sure to take my time, you know, light it up, you know, the aroma. Like I said, that sets off the, the whole atmosphere of, of what that cigar is going to taste like. Uh, because this is what a cigar is for. You know, Absolutely. For Absolutely. This is not something you have to do. Yeah. Uh, 
Something that you do to enjoy that moment with your cigar. And I do think, you know, I brought up the small cigars. I think with a small cigar, you're probably better off using either a small single torch or a soft flame because if you do have a tendency out there to light the cigar and finish it when it's in your mouth, smaller cigar is closer to your face. You have the heat closer to your lips and your mouth. So you want to use something a little less hot than this big quad that we have sitting right here. (laughs) You know. you know, another thing, and, and, and I think this comes with experience or, or not age as a human, but age in the time of smoking, the longer you smoke, you learn cigars that you can relight or not relight. But from a general perspective, in your experience, how long can a cigar be off before you would say, don't relight it? You know, that, that's, that's something, uh, you know, what I find, uh, put a cigar down after half an hour, an hour, or whatever. You know, that first initial, when you put it in your mouth, you know, it's, 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 it's going to taste a little funky. Yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that the cigar is bad. Correct. When you really like that cigar, you know, it'll come back to its oh. original. As a matter of fact, in the old days, you know, so I, I worked uh, back in the early 70s with a lot of old human cigars. Oh. And they used to light a cigar, and sometimes, at the end of the day, I remember one time, it was this one particular guy, and he would leave a cigar in the bench. And you know, at the end of the day, uh, I would come by and see the cigar, and I was saying, you know, throw it away. But I would come in the morning, all upset. What happened to my cigar? Well, you know, I, I threw it away. No, you don't do that. Today is better than when I. <laughs> you know, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't know. You know, so I mean, you know, in the old days, that's you know, they used to like to relight those cigars after a day. Yeah. And uh, a lot of times in the old days, the old, the old, the old, what I call like the old timers. You know, cigars they smoke from the ones they make. Of course, but you know, they just like the, uh, you know, the. Uh, it, it it got it got uh, you know I remember you know a lot of times and, and I'm thinking about you know people that I knew that when I was much younger smoking and watching them they'd smoke a cigar they'd light it they get about an inch in and then they'd sit it within their mouth and they might chew on it a little they might this they might whatever you know and if it got too uh, soggy on the end they'd cut the end off tap the ash off and relight it yeah. but that could have been three hours later <laughs> you know and you're looking at them going why are you relighting the cigar and and you know it's it is it's something that if once you know how to do it I think like you said it's up to you. It's a personal preference. Cigars can be relit. Now, am I going to leave a cigar sitting out for a week or, or, or two and then relight it? Probably no, not. No, but, I, I, yeah. you know, if I'm it's a few sure. hours up to a day, I you know, you cut the end off, you know, give it another clean cut, you know, tap the ash off, get the ash as that's much of it off, that. and then light it up. Exactly. That's you know? great. That's yeah. great. You know, cut off the, uh, the ash part, you know, cut it, and then you can roll through it. Yeah. Whatever, you know. No. The funk is there is going to be a little bit yeah. more uh, subdued. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, we had um, we had something come up in a conversation a long time ago about um, when you cut your when you cut a cigar, um, and specifically this was regarding the cigars that you make, um, but I'm sure it applies to other cigars. That when you cut a cigar and you take a dry pull on the cigar where you haven't lit the cigar. Why is it that that dry pull or that non-lit pull of the cigar, you tend to find a little bit more spice, a little bit more strength, and then when you light it, it very quickly subdues on your palate. You know, and I know that you once told me it had something to do, I think, with the way tobacco is fermented, but maybe you can explain it more to the consumers a little bit. Well, that's that's a core draw, and you know that, <clears throat> that's something also that uh, <clears throat> many people do, and I do it you know once in a while, <clears throat> um, especially if it's not my cigar I'm smoking, mm-hmm. I'm smoking somebody else's cigar, because you can get an idea of the age of the tobacco, right. you know how it's been fermented, and you know, um, you know sometimes you, you get like a nutty you know, mm-hmm. before you light it, like a real nutty taste. Sometimes you get, you know, sometimes. Like when I'm in the house and I don't want to, you know, go out and smoke right away, I'll cut a cigar and I'll start you, just put it in my mouth, and, you know. And believe me, there's a whole different, how do you say, experience in that. Yeah. Because you can get, you know, some of the spice, mm-hmm. you know, some of the uh, the flavors of the tobacco, 
and to me it's very enjoyable. And I like to do that a lot with the English. Yeah. The natural. And um, I think, you know, once you apply the, 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 the heat to it, you know, right away, uh, some of that, especially when you smoke it, like probably like half an inch, mm -hmm. an inch, you know, some of the humidity is going to start coming back into the, uh, into the tobacco, which right. is great, yeah. because that's where you're going to start, you know, really uh, enjoying the, uh, you know, the different tobacco, the different blends. That Correct. Yeah. 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 But, but the, the, the cold boy, you know, I enjoy that yeah. a lot also. Yeah. And maybe not even like it. Yeah, yeah. There's there's times where I've cut a cigar and put it in my mouth, and then an hour later I'm going, oh wait, I forgot to light this thing. You know, <laughs> I better light it up. You know, um, you know. Let's let's finish this off with one last question for you. Is there anything you tell people never to do when they're lighting a cigar? Like, is there any don'ts, quote unquote? Any don'ts? Okay, that that's a good question, uh, and I think that. Um, hmm. I would probably have to say that, you know, uh, don't light a cigar just to light a cigar because, you know, you feel that, uh, uh, how can I put this? You feel like you have to light a cigar to be with friends or whatever, you know, you don't want to like, you know, you're also participating with mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Cigars are, 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 are very special. Yeah. Anybody that's seen, you know, a, a tobacco plant, process, how they process the yeah. tobacco, how cigars are made. This, this is an art form. Absolutely. Uh, and, you know, this is like getting a, uh, you know, a, a, a castle and putting a light to it. Right. That's, you know, that's how much I, I, I admire the people that actually, you know, make these cigars. Yeah. So, um, it has to be under the right uh, conditions. It has to be, you know, at the right... Uh, Moment, I guess you could mm -hmm. say to a certain degree that uh, you know, you're really going to take your time to enjoy that cigar. Uh, because you know, there, there's you know, sometimes you'll, you'll, you'll get a, a cigar, but one thing that I always recommend, I don't want to forget this, yeah. is when you first buy a, a cigar in a, a retail store, you know, mm -hmm. that's fine, you want to smoke it there, you want to stand, it's fine. You know? But if you really want to get, you know, the, the real flavors, the real complexity, Manufacturer uh, wanted you to experience. You should take that box and you, you know, put it in the humidor, keep it in that, in that box where you bought it, and you know, keep it there for a week, two weeks, because it's, that's when the cigar really starts to uh, age. It has to be in a certain atmosphere. You know, it has to feel at home somewhere. And when it's again your humidor or your whatever, your bed or whatever, you know, never in your car. Like I see people <laughs> because that's when you really you're going to start getting all the uh, the flavors that that, uh, you know, that you're looking for in those those smokes. Yeah. yeah, you and I have talked about that. It's to, you have to acclimate your cigar to your region, that's to your right. area. Right. Yeah, so you that's know. Right. I like this. <laughs> I do remember your words. <laughs> you know, and and yeah, that's something very important. Well, thank you for talking about lighting thank cigars you. today, and you know we'll uh, we'll talk more. I'm sure. For sure, you know I think uh, we need to do this a little bit more often. All right. My daughter would let me. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ernesto. Thank you.